Hello guys and welcome back in a new video. We are here today to do an unboxing video. Uh, this is um, a 3D printer that MVO engineer uh, sent me over to test it and play around with the machine. It's the Craftbot uh, 2. And so we will go and uh, remove all the plastic around the box because on top they put uh, two spool of filaments that they produce. Uh, and uh, we will uh, remove the printer from the box and do a test print. So we can proceed to remove this plastic. So I just remove all the plastic around and we have the two spool here on the top of the printer and uh, is uh, uh, called chroma, the filaments, and is PLA Apple and we have another one here, it's always chroma and is a uh, clockwork orange. So I will put this for now on the side and we will proceed to open this box. Okay, I will remove the tape on the top of the printer. And now we can remove the printer from the box. I will put the box on the floor and then uh, put the printer on the little table. So we have, of course, one of the first things inside the box is packaging, so we remove these. We have a quick uh, setup guide, I guess. Yes. And inside we have the printer that I will remove now from the box. And of course on the bottom part of the box we have other packaging. So now we can remove this plastic around the printer. And remove this cardboard from the top. That is a box with some stuff. I will check it now. And pretty much seems he is pretty much almost ready, the printer. You have these elastics on the bed. and a little paper and yeah the printer seems pretty much unboxed at least is almost ready i will check now the paper the quick setup i think we need to do a couple of things but is really sturdy it's really really solid printer and inside we have here uh, the tube, I guess, for fear it will go on the extruder and on the back where uh, to connect the spool holder to the extruder. So uh, inside the box we found, of course, the cable for the alimentation of the printer. We have another uh, chroma filament, uh, PLA red. We have some other two sample of filaments, uh, green and yellow. Then we have the, some tools and uh, the spool holder and the cable to connect uh, with the USB at the PC, the printer and that's it. The first things we will go to do is to install the uh, guide tube holder uh, that will go here, just unscrew this screw on the top of the printer and put here in the opposite right like this and just screw back everything's perfect and we we'll proceed to put the tube inside the guide and inside the extruder. Now we will proceed to install the spool holder that will go here so I will remove this screw and I will install the spool holder and pretty much we have done. Uh, it's uh, really really easy uh, to set up this machine I mean just a few steps and uh, after you will just need to connect the the printer to the electricity and turn on the machine. Now we can proceed to turn on the machine and you can see have a nice LED inside 
and how you can see we have a full color display that is touched and it seems it works really well it's really fast and reactive so other information about the machine we have a build plate of 250 by 200 and uh, 200 millimeter uh, is uh, LCD is a touch screen have a wireless connectivity instead of the SD card we have a USB on the top of the printer and I would say it's a really really solid printer because it's a whole uh, sheet of metal if I'm right and uh, you have uh, some acrylic panel on the side uh, I think it would be probably really cool be able uh, to have a acrylic panel to cover the uh, frontal parts so if people want to use like ABS uh, it will be more easy to probably to print but uh, is uh, a great machine and the price that right now you can find this uh, printer uh, if you are in UK on the MVO engineer uh, website is for uh, 1200 pounds so I would say it can be a medium starter printer and of course I will leave you the link uh, uh, to check on the website the printer. So I will make now uh, the calibration of the build plate and a force print uh, of course with a time lapse and uh, we will see how this machine prints. So I just finished to print, I printed a Benchy, uh, you saw on the time lapse and overall came out uh, quite well, uh, not perfect but for sure a good result uh, because I never used this kind of PLA and uh, uh, I never used this machine so I just load the filaments, uh, calibrate the bill plate and uh, use the default uh, uh, settings on Craftwave that is the uh, slicer for this machine I think you can use to simplify 3D, I would probably try it. Uh, and uh, one thing that I didn't mention before is that you can remove the build plate when you finish to print and then just lock it back again with this screw on the bottom. And it's really handy, it's really uh, easy to do and uh, help to remove better the print without damage any parts inside of the printer. So. This is the unboxing and force print. I uh, hope you like it. I will for sure use this machine uh, uh, in the, some of my next project. So, hope you like it. Uh, this was just an unboxing and force use. I will for sure use this machine uh, that Envio uh, let me have uh, uh, in the next month uh, after the holidays. And uh, I will uh, let you have uh, other feedback about it. So, see you at the next video. And remember, raise your eyebrow.